In this video, we want to show you the updates to the opportunities slash sales pipeline view. A couple of things have changed. You'll notice now there is a new cultivate stage so that you're starting to get ready to cultivate the relationship. And then from there, turn it into an appointment, active, under contract, close, and each of these will have stages in it. Also, you notice they've changed the way it explains probable income and potential income, which I like. Now you've got listings, buyers, and leases have been added. So now you can even manage and handle your leases inside here. Down below still has your ratios for how much of your business is listings, buyers, and leases, your activity, and then at the bottom will be closings for this month. So this is really a big change here. And if I come to this cultivate stage just to see what we have here, Right, I'm able to come through the cultivate, which is watching, nurturing, and a hot lead, cold lead, right? Kind of working them from there, and then take them to the appointment stage, scheduling, scheduling and kept. By the way, any of these stages, if you want to edit them, you just come to edit stages and you can add a stage or remove a stage. You are allowed to customize this. Notice it's got a probability score. That just means as we keep moving forward, what's the probability of me earning income? That's where that whole probability comes from. So I come back to cultivate here. I can come through. You also can switch between board view and list view if you want to go through the different list of things. So if I create an opportunity, you're going to notice a couple of things. Now I have listing, buyer, tenant, and landlord. So tenant, obviously, if they're renting, and the landlord, if you're taking the listing to offer a rental. So, and I've got the option to take my contacts and my co-seller, if it is a seller, right? If it's a buyer, notice it changes to co-buyer. Tenant, got the information here for the tenant. So play around with these stages, move things around. Once you've created a stage, and you can even assign it to someone, by the way. So on a team, this is your future to assign that buyer lead or that buyer somebody here to the contact to take them through the transaction, which is really cool. That's kind of a preview of the team view that's coming soon. Once you have your stuff moved in, so here's my list. I'm going to change it back to board view. I can simply just drag it from I'm scheduling the Smith listing to scheduled. And then from here, I'm going to move it to kept. And then from here, now I can drag it to the active stage. So now that it's under active, I can take that same thing and now I can move it to showing, right? Whatever the stage of everything is, you can just move them around. And what this is doing, if I go back to the sales pipeline, is it's showing me at each one of these stages how much money I can be making. See the volume. Then here's the potential income and probable income. And it also show you average time, which is not days in market. It's how much time has that property or whatever listing in this case been in that queue before I moved it to the next stage. Well, that's your sales pipeline slash opportunities. Take a look at them, explore it. I think you'll like the enhancements here. And as always, if there's anything you want to change, just click your little lab dog, which is Riley, and leave a message here to them to say what kind of ideas you have to make this even better. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KDB Connect today.